It's not like any other podcast. Coming to you straight from the heartland, where investing is told like it is. It's time for Darren Garman's Paranoid Banker Podcast. Hold on, because here comes the next episode of the Paranoid Banker Podcast. Well, hey guys, Darren Garman here, and we are going to talk about uh, one of the main things that I use when it comes to uh, deciding whether we're going to invest in a certain market or even a certain area. Uh, or if we're going to invest in, in most cases, an apartment project, but we have successfully over the years used this strategy for um, uh, retail strip centers, shopping centers, office buildings, um, and we've, um, uh, we've done a pretty good job with this, and it's worked out very well for us when we use what I'm going to tell you. Now, the good news is this is very easy to do. It's very easy to figure out. You can put away the spreadsheets and all the analysis and all that kind of stuff um, in order to use this strategy. And what the strategy is, is barrier of entry. Okay. Uh, remember those three wor- those words, barrier of entry, the three main words when looking at uh, an investment opportunity in real estate, specifically an income producing opportunity. Uh, and the one that I use all the time is barrier of entry. Okay, so uh, what do I mean by barrier of entry? Well, it all has to do with and is related to replacement cost. Okay, replacement cost. And so let me give you an example. We just got done uh, working on a 188 unit apartment property here in Cedar Rapids. Okay, so this was a little bit over $10 million or just for numbers sake, let's just say this is a $50,000 per unit apartment purchase. All right, so uh, our investment partners and I, my investment partners and I uh, purchased this property for $50,000 per unit. It's a property that's about 20 years old. Okay, Um, now one of the main things you've got to think about when you do that is, all right, what if somebody decides to build an apartment property right across the street or close by and basically um, all of my tenants, all of our tenants migrate from our apartment property over to the new competing property? Uh, think of it as a lot of think of it in another way, just as a little sidebar here, as a business. I mean, if you open a coffee shop or a restaurant um, or some kind of a service or retail business, think of it as if your competition, someone brings in a new business next door, across the street, maybe another coffee shop next door, across the street. Um, same kind of same kind of thought process, okay? But in this case, we're talking real estate. And it's a concern, and it's something that you've got to think about when measuring risk and measuring whether or not you're going to purchase an apartment property, especially when you are, you know, buying a, a sizable property, which, you know, of about 200 units or so. And in our case, uh, we plowed forward in working on buying this property. Why? Because we knew that the replacement cost was a large barrier of entry of any competition. I'm going to talk about competition here in just a second. But in order for someone to come in and build a new property, let's say across the street, they would have to spend or invest about $150,000 per unit. Okay, So think about this. We invest $50,000 per unit in a 20-year-old apartment complex, apartment community, if somebody wants to come in and um, compete with us, build something new, they're going to be spending, the replacement cost is going to be $150,000 per unit or three times as much investment. It's going to cost someone to compete with us. Okay. In addition to that, do you think they would be able to get three times as much rent for these new units as what our residents are paying us now? Three times as much? 
more than likely no. It probably doesn't even matter how nice these new units would be. Um, the chances that a new owner or developer would be able to get three times as much rent just to make their project work is pretty slim. Okay, it's pretty slim. And even in an unlikely event that that would happen, that a um, developer builds a property across the street from ours to compete with us, do you think our residents are all now going to pay three times as much rent to move across the street when they've got a nice project where they live now? No, that's not going to happen. So that's a barrier of entry, folks. Okay, that's a barrier of entry. Um, and it all has to do with what I said, replacement costs, and then back to competition. You know, a lot of people say competition's great, um, competition's wonderful, we should all just love competition. I don't want to compete. I want to dominate, okay? I want to dominate. And so the way you dominate is you invest in apartment communities that have a humongous barrier of entry okay so when you do that you pretty much cut off all roads of competition uh, and that is what you want because it keeps your numbers not only uh, producing at a high high level in terms of how well your property does from a performance standpoint uh, but it also affects resale in a major way and can really affect the appreciation of the asset as well so those three words remember them barrier of entry and make sure those three words are a big part of your next apartment or really any other commercial property investment opportunity you get involved in all right so look have a great day have a great rest of your week i hope this information has been helpful and we will talk to you later all right thanks for joining me on the podcast today we'll see you bye bye Thanks for joining Darren Garman's Paranoid Banker Podcast. For investment questions, comments, or to get in touch with Darren, go to www.garmanblog.com. Thanks for joining Darren Garman's Paranoid Banker Podcast. For investment questions, comments, or to get in touch with Darren, go to www.garmanblog.com.